water tanker guy. Putting on some some fungicide here. Putting on some fungicide for leaf spot. Um, one of like the worst diseases in our sugar beets is Cercospora leaf spot. And I feel like we're just like always spraying sugar beets because they're, they're so, they can be attacked really easily. Cause like if something attacks the leaves, it'll stop growing sugar, which is like what it's supposed to be making. <laughs> so it'll just stop making sugar and like focusing on re focus on regrowing the leaves so we have to keep them healthy in order to even get like a sugar beet crop and we do that by spraying here's one of our sugar beet fields as you can see there's no weeds this time we're not even putting in any herbicides because we know that would be a waste of product and our money to put on something that we don't even need like, there, I can't see a weed in here. I mean, if I walked out in the field, I'd probably see some small weeds coming through. Most of them are, like, shaded out because the beets are covering the rows. I think it's cool that we as farmers, like, have to experiment with our own stuff. Like, we'll do passes where we don't put a chemical in and see, like, how much yield we lose and, like, how much that product costs. Like, is it worth putting that on? So we do that pretty often, and that kind of goes into play for the next year, whether or not we like, whether or not we put a chemical in, and we learn what the benefits are to them. got done blowing off our combine we just do this so we just blow all the dust off so that I mean you see people's combines catch on fire before you guys smell and hear that oh my god oh oh my god no oh my god oh no my combine burnt down Are you serious I gotta call 911 guys. Oh man, I gotta get a fire fire truck over here. I have to buy another combine. I'll probably end up getting a bigger one though. So, we just make sure there's no wheat or dust anywhere and nothing's building up inside the combine. We blow all the engine compartments out and blow it all off. 